What's up, Black Hive? It's Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Hope you guys had fun with the power output challenges yesterday. Got those scores in, got them on the Black Hive home uh, wad, and got everything uploaded on the Rise app. So today, we are now moving into a pretty heavy strength for a one rep max snatch. We've got building every two minutes on the minute for 20 minutes. It's really just a building for 20 minutes. We're just giving you a little bit of a time domain to give you some thought as it relates to getting through the workout in that 20 minutes without meandering around and kind of getting to work. So what I did was I kind of gave a little bit of thought of what we usually do when I'm working out. We just start somewhere between 30, 40, and then 50% for the first five or six minutes to try and get warmed up, get the blood flowing through the shoulders, and then really start thinking about where we want to go in this workout depending on how we feel. One rep max snatch days don't always turn out to a PR, but for that day, we want to think about what that one rep's going to look like, especially how we're feeling. So make sure you're keeping your eye on the form, video, look at that rep as you're getting into the 60, 70%, and then really try to reach out to a coach if you need to, but focus on that form and look at it as a one rep max for the day. Don't just try and get a PR if you're not feeling a PR for that day. Uh, once we get through our strength, we're coming into a pretty lengthy wad. Today's a 20 minute AMRAP, two rope climbs, 10 ring dips, and 20 sit-ups. So for 20 minutes, we'll be trying to go through, really engage those lats, and get some of those pulls going into those ring dips and then into those sit-ups. So a lot of us at home don't have ropes to climb. You have a tree, you got a rope, cool, that'd be super awesome. Try and get 15 feet. If not, we have some different options. You can do bent over row with a sandbag, a barbell, dumbbell, kettlebells, or even gallon jugs. Anything you can really engage those lats with. If you're gonna do any of these modifications, typically wanna do three to one when we're talking about two reps of a rope climb. Getting into those ring dips, same thing, modification. Try and find two parallel pieces of, of lumber in a tree, get chairs, boxes, two tailgates, uh, two trucks sitting side by side. Anything you can get into those dips, get those elbows just at those shoulders, and then really try to lock out at the top. And then sit up for sit ups, just get you an ab mat and a, uh, and a yoga mat, and get to work on those 20 sit ups. Wouldn't really modify those too much unless you're gonna modify the reps. Working through this, probably wanna think somewhere in the terms of four, maybe six rounds. Um, so when you're going through this, really think about those sit ups and those ring dips. Typically, if you don't have a rope, these been a rows are gonna be pretty simple, especially six. We wanna go kind of heavy with those. For your Black Hive Home, we have a modification of a 20 minute AMRAP. So Black Hive Home will be 100 meter bear crawl. Same thing with your 10 dips and the same thing with your 20 sit ups. So 100 meter bear crawl, get back in, get to those 10 dips, wherever you're doing your dips, and then right into those sit ups. Again, right here, you might see six to eight rounds because this bear crawl is gonna be a little bit easier than the rope climbs or any of these modifications, but still, you know, try to keep working through this particular workout. And if that's not enough, obviously we have our built. We got three rounds for time, nine toes to bar, seven lateral burpees, and then five hang squat cleans. So the toes to bar, we can easily modify for sit-ups, getting on that core again. The V up is really what we wanna shoot for if we're gonna be doing this at home. And if you do have a set of rings and you don't quite have toes to bar or you have a, a pull-up bar at home, let's try and get some of those knee raises in a kipping fashion. So get those heels back, kip back up and get those knees as high as you possibly can. That'll work you towards those toes to bar. Seven lateral burpees over your barbell or possibly sandbag, dumbbell, kettlebell, or gallon jugs for those hang squat cleans. So make sure you're getting the hip crease below the knee on those squat cleans. Get that barbell up to that front rack. Try and catch it low into that squat. Try not to catch it in a power and then squat. Really try to catch it in the actual squat. So try and look over those videos. Try and see what we got going on with that barbell coming right up to the sternum and then dropping underneath that barbell. Our weight's 135 and 95. Let's make sure to modify if you are using that barbell. If you can't get all five of those hang cleans unbroken, we should not be putting this barbell down for five hang squat cleans on this particular workout. Three rounds, nine toes of bar, seven lateral burpees, five hang squat cleans. Probably looking somewhere in the 90 second range for each round. So we want to see four and a half to six minutes in this particular workout. So think in, term, think in terms of that when you're thinking about what we're going to modify here and here and those lateral burpees, we should all be able to get to without stopping. So can't wait to get this one knocked out tomorrow. Can't wait to see you guys at school on the scoreboard as well.